Hello everybody, thanks for coming over this afternoon. I thought I would just take a couple quick little minutes and kind of show you what I'm going to take to Mississippi Mayhem um, this week, which is down by West Salem, which is north of La Crosse, and it's a little old car, truck, motorcycle, camper, motorized bicycle, flame throwing, rockabilly, old time music, pin up extravaganza weekend, which is close, which I love. It's only like a couple hours for us. So um, I thought I would just show you what I'm taking down. And I believe this is what I'm taking down, but if you gals are like me, you know, you change your mind at the last minute, right? But I always um, do my outfits, put the whole thing together, um, what I'm gonna take, what my husband's gonna wear, um, and the accessories, and that kind of changes because sometimes I can't find something until the last minute. It's somewhere, I just don't know where. So Friday, we're gonna leave early Friday morning, um, kind of road trip down a little bit. So that's kind of gonna be a, a casual, um, comfortable day. So I got this cute little, and it is a late 60s, early 70s, but I thought that it felt really um, rockabilly-ish little dress, um, and I'll, I'm in a very cramped little area, as you guys know. So, and this is this goes to right above the knees. So, in, back in the 40s, that's kind of the way they wear their dresses. But this is a late 60s dress. It could have been on maybe a shorter person who originally owned it because this is a true vintage. And it just kind of has an abstract pattern with it. And then I'm just going to wear this new um, Poisoned Designs hair flower. Um, with that because I wanted something I have light yellow flowers but I wanted something a little more folly-ish because this is kind of the a time of year where you're kind of transitioning from summer to fall so and it's gonna be a beautiful weekend so I can't wait so on um, this is my little traveling outfit for um, a Friday and then I always coordinate my husband with me and he'll wear um, probably just his jeans most of the weekend and then this is his little um, shirt that he'll be wearing kind of pops the greens that are in my dress. So that will be our traveling outfit for on the way down. And then I have some really cute, and I'm gonna be in out of shots just a little bit, sorry about that. Um, for this, cause I go for comfort when I go down. So I'm gonna be wearing just my little white kids. And then I got these cute little vintage leaf, or not, they're not leaves. They look like leaves, but it's like, like a green rose. Um, and I thought that'd be really cute with the dress. So that's what I'm wearing on Friday, my husband, so that's traveling. And then, um, you always think you're going to change your outfit. Sometimes you're having so much fun and so busy you don't even get back to the camper to change. But if I get a chance to change, um, I'm going to wear this 19, and this is a true 1940s, and it's a rayon or acetate, and it's kind of a plummy, purpley, beigey um, dress. And this, of course, is not a vintage. You'll notice a lot of times in these vintage dresses that... Um, the belts aren't with them anymore. I suppose they get rattered and tattered and whatnot through the years and stuff. Um, so I'm going to wear this with the belt. And like I said, it's kind of a little different shade of purple, but that's okay. I'm not that picky of a gal that it has to be matchy-matchy. And then I'm going to wear my um, lilac hair combs in my hair for the, for the night time. I think you guys have seen these before. I just absolutely love them. And then I have, excuse me, I have some... Uh, couple different earrings. I'm not sure which one I'm going to wear. Ones are more sparkly and these are more plain. So I think I might wear these with it that night. And then my husband doesn't have anything with plum in it. And I'm not that neurotic that he has to match that close. He can mess everywhere. But he'll wear this one. This has kind of got burgundy tones. So we're kind of going with the fall leaves hue with this outfit. So that will be that night. And then for shoes for this dress, I really don't have shoe shoes that match this one. Um, so I'm going to wear my um, Die Hard uh, Mary Janes with this dress. So I have those and I have a really cute um, box purse that will probably I road trip all these member gals to make sure my stuff will fit into them. But one nice thing about being down there, um, unlike when you go to like Viva Las Vegas, everything's so far apart. When you go down there, your camper's just a two minute walk away no matter where you are in the whole ground. So that's kind of nice if you, your purse is cumbersome or you want to get, or you don't even want to carry your purse. But I always got my camera with me, you know. Um, you don't have to carry your purse around, but I just love this. And I like to use my stuff. And this is nice because this is, I can take whatever I want. I've got all the room of the camper and the whole, you know, half that closet. I don't keep clothes in it. Um, so I'll be able to put all of our traveling clothes in there, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then, of course, um, when I dress for vintage in the weekends and stuff like that, I, you know, always bring, I have a pair of black, and these are true vintage glasses, and I just, um, had them, Walmart, pop out the, um, lens, and then they put my prescriptions in it, which is really nice. I'm a good for close vision, um, unless it's really close, and then I need readers. <laughs> 
um, but when it's distance, it doesn't, it's not as crisp, so I like to, I like to see everything, so I, I will wear my prescription glasses when I go down, for sure. So that is all our stuff for Friday and Friday night. I have nowhere to put it, so I'm just dropping it at my feet. So, and then Saturday for the um, car show day, I'm going to be wearing my vintage um, little deer print dress. And this is a 19, for, late 40s, early 50s Rihanna acetate dress and uh, poisoned designs flower. Make sure I get it. And they got a little cream belt to go with that. Um, and then I will probably either um, carry my little wicker purse that day. I'm not sure. Or, I have this little vintage purse that has my monogram on it. Um, and it's not good for like travel, but I think it'll be fine for the day. Because as you can see, it has been somehow repaired over the years with staples. But I just love this and I thought it went so well with this dress and this belt for the day. So I have that. So, for shoes. Well, I have these really cute, and they're not vintage shoes, but they're such a cute little... Um, they're Aldo shoes. There's such a cute little uh, print on them. I thought that would be really cute with this dress. <sighs> but it's got a kitten heel on it. So I will take them. I will try them out for part of the day. And if my feet hurt a little bit or my heel starts to rub or my toes pinch just in the very slightest, I will be swapping them out. And I have a pair of um, brown vintage vintage-ish flat shoes that I'll wear with this that day. And then um, on this day, my husband, well, because he doesn't have anything that's baby blue, but he does have this blue plaid shirt. Oops, sorry. That has baby blues in it, so he'll wear that to coordinate. <clears throat> so that will be our Saturday car show day. I'm so excited for that. It's going to be so fun. Um, so we're, we're all set for that. And then for Saturday night, um, like I said, you never know if you're going to um, change Saturday night or not, but I hope so because I have this um, Lindy Pop dress I haven't worn yet. Um, I got a really good deal on it last year for like $25, <clears throat> but I think I would love to wear this because Saturday night is the band night and they have burlesque bingo going on, and um, I think that, that there's a Saturday night flame throwing out of the back of the car. There's so much thing. We only did maybe a quarter of the things going on last year. Okay, just getting our feet wet and wet in the whole thing. So this year we're gonna get to the things we didn't go to last year. But so from poison to designs. Also, I got this beautiful hat. It's not a fascinator. It's a full hat with a comb in it. So I'm gonna wear this. And then this isn't vintage. Remember, it's vintage inspired. So it has this little um, rockabilly. Um, leopard belt that goes with it. So what I'm going to do is, and it has black and brown so you can go either way, I have these pair of leopard shoes. Isn't that cute? Because I want to be comfortable Saturday night because by Saturday night my feet might be hurting. So I have that I'm going to wear with a dress and then I have a dark brown purse that I'll wear with the shoes and everything. And then for jewelry that night I'm not sure if I'm going to go with a, I'm sorry I'm out of the screen all the time, <laughs> these kind of leopardy vintage earrings I have, or I have these cute little floral ones. I may wear those too. But like I said, I'll switch my mind back and forth. So that's all my vintage stuff. And like when we go down there, um, all our nice clothes will be hanging in the closet and our PJs or pajamas will be in our little vintage, uh, my grandma, uh, uh, Woodmere or Smith, depending on which husband, <laughs> in her um, little vintage suitcase will put her pajamas and then I have a matching Samsonite train case and I will put all my makeup in that also. Thanks for coming over this afternoon. Um, I know it was all over the place but you know how I am. So um, we'll get some great pictures and maybe a few little videos when we're down to Mississippi Mayhem and I'll post those when I get back. So thanks for coming over. Thanks for sharing my little packing extravaganza until we see each other next time. Bye everybody.